I made this purple martin house and we finally got it up on the pole. During the process of building the martin house I learned a lot about these beautiful birds. For example, did you know that in the eastern United States that the purple martin depends almost exclusively on man-made houses? This tradition was started many years ago by Native Americans and continues today. I'd like to tell you about a few things that I've learned. And there's a reason that these purple martin houses are always on poles or, or posts. You'll need a way to raise and lower your martin house. And a brake winch is a good way to do it. The brake winch stays put when you release the handle, both raising and lowering the birdhouse. Now, of course, lowering the birdhouse at the end of the season uh, is a great way to clean out all of your boxes. This particular birdhouse that I made uh, contains 12 nesting boxes. And so in the fall, I'll be able to lower it down and clean out those boxes. But I also learned that starlings and sparrows can be a real problem for the purple martin. They'll chase those martins away and take over the house. And so you'll have to have a way to lower this thing down if that happens and clean those boxes out. Now I learned about this problem in a hurry. When I first built the house, I put the regular round holes in there. I think they were two inch holes. The second day that the house was up, the starlings had taken over all 12 holes and so I had to lower the, the house down and clean those nests out. Since then, I put these half moon shaped uh, holes in there for the uh, martins. The starlings can't get in those holes, but the, the martins can. Here you can see how I built the house. It's in two halves with a two by six frame in the middle that rides up and down on the pole. Now here's the modification that I made for the holes and I basically cut this out of a piece of wood and uh, nail it on the front of the door. The hole has to be even with the floor, right even when you put it in. It's three inches wide and it's only an inch and three sixteenths tall. So there you can see those original round holes that I've replaced with the half moon holes. So I would recommend doing that right off the bat. Now I mentioned that I used a 2x6 here to connect these two houses together and then I bolted through the house to uh, attach it on both ends. There's six houses on this end and six on the other. There you can see those bolts. So I can take it apart if I ever needed to uh, do some work on it or whatever. So it works real good and I'm just waiting for those purple martins to show up. So I'm doing my part to take care of these beautiful birds. Thanks for watching everyone and consider subscribing for more about birds and other cool stuff. Bye bye.